A visual artist is someone that draws, paints, works on like a two-dimensional surface. They're working with images, rearranging them, creating something new. And to me, I'm sort of that visual artist, anthropologist that's recording my culture, my history, and the people in this landmark. What I learned from being growing up in East LA, Bull Heights, is like you kind of discover your own identity. You, because you're among so many Latinos, and also Latinos that are coming from certain specific places like Michoacan, where my family was from, there's a certain like pulse, identity, that, and culture, traditions that come over. And so that it does create a, a sense of unique touch that I don't think you could find anywhere else in Los Angeles. The way that I would describe my style is a hybrid between realism and impressionism. I leave it to the eye to create that blending. Like, I paint what I see, what I'm experiencing. I paint the moment and what's in front of me. And I try to include history of what's happening for the Latino experience. How I incorporate Boyle Heights in East Los Angeles in my artwork is almost all of it. The places that I visit, the places that I hang out, the places, the people that I see and communicate with, and people that are kind of iconic to these places. There's a strong identity, like there's a strong roots to who we are, to the, the immigrants. There's a sense of maintaining the language of speaking Spanish. There's a sense of like communicating with other generations and a sense of neighborhood too. Also the artifacts that compose the Latino heritage which could be like uh, the marigolds, the piñatas, um, the fruits that we eat, the dishes that we eat. East LA and Bowl Heights is like 90% of my artwork. That's why I find my audience connects with me is just to painting what we grew up around, what they saw and what I saw and putting it onto canvas to document these places that otherwise are not documented. I implement elements that can connect to everybody's life experiences. You know, being in Southern California, you're just gonna be flooded with Latino culture. Even if you don't know the culture, you're in it. And what I bring in my artwork is the festiveness of it, the joy that connects us all, even if you are not Latino. The card came about basically from desperation. I'm trying to find ways to sell artwork. I'm almost giving it away and it still won't sell. And this is how it happened. I'm at a, a freeway exit and I'm seeing this person just selling oranges and I'm just observing them. And then I was like, well, how, how funny would it be if I set up myself with like an easel and paint fresh oranges of the day or something like that. And so I'm telling a friend because I have this idea to buy in a cart and I'm gonna go around the streets and just sell fresh paintings. And uh, he was like, well, I'll help you out with the money. And then from that day on, like, I went on Craigslist, found this like beat up cart. And I think the spirit of like finding a means, any means has been in my community. A good example is my mom from, as I was a little kid, she's always tried different businesses. And so this mentality of trying to make uh, extra income has been around my community. And I think that I just picked it up and try to make it authentic to myself that didn't feel like I'm just trying to make a bucks here, but I'm actually trying to make a statement. And then the other aspect is like, you take this platform that has been considered low or menial work for immigrant population and flipped it around and turn it into an artistic expression of my community. It's like representing them all together in one. I would advise a young artist to try to get a, a education in art. I mean, if you can't get a college education, go to galleries. Interact with your peers, interact with places that are creative hubs. Especially in LA, you can't say like, oh, I'm not influenced by my surroundings. The mark that I wanna leave as an artist, be an individual that was part of the like ecosystem of Los Angeles, was so in integrated with the community, the people, and the current history that when you look at my artwork, you could reflect on what was happening at the time. And through my artwork, having a common ground with different cultures, other outside of Latino that could, could open the conversation for gentrification, housing, um, race. Also like 
breaking that that sort of white gaze of like, oh, this is like what it means to be Latino and actually be like, this is coming straight from the community and this is us.